Hey everybody, Hector with Thermal Dog Outfitters. Welcome back to the channel. Man, I am in a special place. I can't wait to show you what I'm seeing. Uh, but the reason you came here is because you want to find out what do you need for your bug out? Bug in? How about a get to bag? Today we're going to go over a get to bag and I'm going to tell you why I call it a get to bag and not a bug out or bug in bag. So, and why you need to get to bag because you just never know where you're going to be at and a lot of people are thinking bug out bags i need to have all this stuff and my guns what if you can't have a gun what are you going to do because it depends on where you go let me tell you if you do any kind of traveling like i do or if you're you know away really far away from home whatever the case would be uh in a place you can't even have a, a weapon um hey you know what you got you got to improvise and you got to do what you can until uh, until you get that but either either way before we get started, let me show you what I'm seeing. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, wow. Whew. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy moly, moly, moly. Woo, what a beautiful morning. I'm glad you got to see a little bit of that uh, sunrise that I get, got to see in this beautiful, beautiful area. See, I'm here, here in Oahu, uh, good old Hawaii on the east side of the island where the sun rises. And so the uh, it's pretty cool. But you came here to find out about bug out, bug in, get to. I, I prefer get to bag. And the reason is I'm, I don't... I'm not looking at bugging out for the simple reason. I'm not going to leave the family. And the uh, and why would I bug out if I can bug in, uh, preferably for uh, you know, it's, that would be the preference for me. I'm in rural. Uh, I'm out in the country, so it makes more sense for me to bug in. Uh, maybe somebody in the city, you may have to bug out depending on what the situation is going on, and you definitely have a, a, need to have a bag like that. But in my case, I think a bug out bag is not what I need. I think you know the. Um, and a bug in, I don't think there, I don't know if there's really a bug in such thing. So, but a get to bag is a different conversation. And what I mean by that, a get to bag is, I may not be home when something happens. There may be issues. I may, you know, we may lose power. The grid goes down. Who knows? You know, there's lots of scenarios where people say, hey, you know what? If there's going to be an EMP that goes off with all the stuff that's going on with China, Russia, all these different things. And what? What do you do if you lose everything and you've got to get home? Um, that's my, what I'm looking at. I'm looking at, I've got to get to my family. So if I'm away, far away from them, how do I get home? What's the equipment that I'm going to use to get there? Uh, so everybody's different you know, on what your loadout's going to be. Uh, and another thing, too, is a get-to bag doesn't mean that you're close to home. Some of you travel. And so if you're like me, you know what, you trust that everything's always perfect, but you always like to be ready. So I have a bag that is the same at home as it is when I travel. So the so you're not gonna have every single little thing. When I'm at home, I will have actually a, a weapon in there the uh, uh, that can be reloaded, obviously, so, uh, to take with me at all times. But when I'm on travel, I have to come up with a different uh, self protect, uh, you know, protection item, self, you know, so, um, so it's gonna be different. But uh, for the most part, what's in there is what's always in there, minus the weapon. If I'm in the, uh, if I'm on the road. So let's go over. You know, everybody's different. So I'm going to show you exactly what I have in mind and why I have it. Okay. So I'm going to show you my bag first of all. Here, here's my bag. This is my simple little bag. Not a ton of stuff there. The uh, my water. Got to have my water. So I have a, uh, I have several bottles of water. So but let's go over the bag and I'll show you what we got in here and the. Uh, I'll tell you why we have it in here. So everybody's going to be a little bit different. Um, so I have a tarp, and the reason I have a tarp is for um, boy, can't even talk today. But the reason I have a tarp is basically protection of the elements. This will create a, uh, a covering for me. So I'll make a little mini tent out of it, or whatever the case. I can actually do a floor, do a uh, do a covering over as well. Uh, I think this one's a uh, I think this is like an eight by twelve. I think is what it is, but doesn't take up a whole lot of a whole lot of weight. The 
what else do I have in here? The I have a everybody again, everybody's different. But I had here. You guys are going, well yeah, you have it wrapped in foil. Well, some of you guys are paranoid on the as far as, hey, what if there was an EMP one day and the uh, knocks out all your electronics? Well, <laughs> it's not going to knock out my electronics. You know, I don't, I don't think that'll actually ever happen, but it, should it happen, I want to make sure that, uh, that I'm ready. So what do I have in here? What I have here is a solar-powered, crank-powered, AM, FM, AM, FM, Again. What is the relationship today with the FTC? So, and Noah weather everything in here. This is this is just a the reality is something happens and you lose you lose power, you lose signal, you lose whatever, and you have no communications. You want to know what's going on around you. This is a good way to find out what's going on around you. Because you have a radio and keep it keep it uh, keep it tuned with everything that's going on. The I have. One of my favorites. A knife, but this one's a good chopping surface and cutting surface here. So you got to have something if you have to chip away, get some wood, whatever the case may be. The and also, by the way, self protection. If I swing this around, so this bigger one here, I have another one, but this bigger one here is really the main purpose of self protection, besides chopping wood or whatever the case, whatever the case I may need. The uh, always want to have a good pair of gloves, so you don't tear your hands up. Whatever you, whatever you're doing, the uh, and I, I'll go. I'm going to go through this quickly because I have a lot of stuff in here. The now here, everybody's different. This right here, wrapped up in a lot of foil as well. I, it's going to be fun wrapping it all back up when I'm all done. Is a Aurora Psionics little night vision camera. It's digital. Now I could use a PBS 14, but I'm not. This stays in my bag all the time. This is about PBS 14 is about two, three thousand. Uh, this is about uh, four or five hundred bucks. So and it's pretty cool. A uh, night optic with a good uh, good IR light, and you can see really, really good with this thing. Pretty impressive. So I use that as my night vision to be able to see at night, uh, and I can see still a pretty good dis distance with it. So it's a pretty cool little toy. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we got in here. We have duct tape. Who doesn't need duct tape? Duct tape auto should automatically be in your bag. Let's see. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, we're going to move on from this pocket. We will come back to it in a bit because I'm going to show you some of my last items that are in there. So what else do I have? Well, besides having to have a tarp to... to uh, to make a covering to make you know be able to uh, keep yourself away from the elements from rain whatever the case may be you know, high winds uh, I like to have this right here in the back of it is a police uh, sleeping bag so it's it's good enough for me it's only rated down to 50 degrees uh, but if it's a hot if it's hot and I don't really want a whole lot of covering I have a what basically this is a it's a liner it's a liner for sleeping bags so the this sometimes I just use this as a sheet to cover up, and the uh, keep, it's nice and cool. I can sleep in the uh, I can sleep in the in the warmth and uh, be fine. The so some of the other stuff is I like to have this is metal. It's a cup, what it is. But what I like about it is I can boil water in here. So I have some you know, different type of food where I can uh, put hot water in it, and well, the phone's going. Put hot water in it. Uh, boil it one for, for, for water source or two for uh, for my food that uh, you got to put hot water in it and talking about food well we'll get back to the food here in a minute fishing gear so I've got an assortment of hooks and the um, and a bunch of other stuff in there I've got different um, line for fishing gear so if I need to fish I can fish I can make a trout line and Put a line, bunch of them out there. You have a better chance of catching some catfish or whatever the case, depending where I'm at. And the uh, don't have to get fancy on what type of fish you're going to be doing, as long as you're catching them and you're able to eat. So if you have no food, so the other important thing is, 
is make sure you have a pair of good shoes in your uh, not in your bag, but at least tied to your bag, so in case you need them, uh, it's always good. You, you may be you may be like me most of the time. I walk around in sandals, so you always want to have that in your vehicle ready to go, uh, so you can ch change out. Also, extra pair of socks doesn't hurt, so always have a pair of socks in there. So it's a lot more comfort. Steaks. You gotta have steaks for your for your tarp so that you can uh, tie it down without without any problems. Uh, also, sometimes I want to have a knife that I can conceal um, that's not sticking out. And if I'm walking around and somebody, it's a bad situation. It's the whole reason I'm having to uh, get home and figure out how to get home. I want to have a, a uh, if I can't and if I'm on the road and I can't have a uh, I can't I can't have a weapon with me, a gun. Uh, I'm going to make sure I have something that's going to help me nice weight to this uh, I love this thing so so anyway so I have that there cool knife um, let's see what else we got oh always gonna always gotta have some uh, some cordage gotta have some cordage 550 cord 550 cord always get have some 550 cord because that's how you're gonna put up a uh, uh, your covering zip ties I love zip ties. Zip ties are great for everything. So if I if I run out of cordage, I can use zip ties. The let's see, uh, blanket. It, a blanket I can not only use uh, to keep warm in because it'll direct the heat from a fire, uh, but also I can use it as a signaling device if I'm lost if I need to. Uh, matches and toilet paper. You gotta have toilet paper. Everybody has to have toilet paper. That's the first thing that goes, it seems. So you got to make sure you have it. The let's see what else we got. You got to drink water, right? So you want to make sure you have a, some way to filter water. So I have the straws that I can drink water with. I I would recommend getting the Sawyer system. Uh, the straws are all right, but they're they're, they're kind of a pain. Uh, if you've ever tried them, they're a pain. I would su suggest the Sawyer system. Um, a first aid kit doesn't matter. Then be a big first aid kit, but something to. That's you know any little pets and right whatever you got if, uh, aspirins put all that in here you got you know Motrin and so if you need if you need some the let's see what else we got in here the, if you want to be able to scope out an area uh, binoculars you gotta have some binoculars I love my binoculars gotta have them the uh, let's see let's see what else we got here let's see what else we got here all right we talked about we talked about where's it at all right here we go. A poncho. In case it starts raining, you don't have a jacket. A poncho. Protect yourself. Keep your stuff dry and your gear dry. Okay. The you gotta have food. You gotta have some. You gotta have some food in your in your. Uh, keep your energy up. You don't know how many days you're gonna be doing it. So you don't have to have a lot. You can only go three days without water. You can go a long time without food. Uh, but why not have both? So I have some venison, some medicine uh, sausage here, and I have a bunch of bunch of different snacks. The uh, uh, the cliff bars, so have, have a bunch of cliff bars here, and uh, those are pretty good. Give me some good energy, uh, and be sparing with it, uh, but, but uh, gotta have some energy. All right, we're still moving along, so let's see. Open up this other compartment, and in this compartment, what I have? Ugh, more energy. Gotta have energy. I am half. Don't laugh at me. You know, gotta have. Some reading glasses at times, okay? So I got to be able to see uh, what I'm trying to read. All right. Another awesome thing is, let's say your phone goes out. For some reason, you lose your phone. Things don't work out well, and it, and for some reason, the cell service goes out, and you try to use the maps on it, you can't for, for whatever reason. So, so what do we have in here? Again, protecting it from my EMPs. EMPs. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. GPS. I don't think it's going to affect the satellites if I get an EMP down here on the ground. So as long as I protect that, my GPS should work just fine. So you got to have one of these. So I can't see not having one of these. So that should be a part of your your, your loadout. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. What other cool stuff? I hate these masks, but I'll carry one just in case you have to be going to a building or something. 
uh, have you guys heard of the gray man? The gray man scenario, you should be a gray man scenario. If you don't know, look it up. Uh, but being that we're living in a world of masks, there's a mask. So what else do I have in here? Oh, oh, this is kind of important. Let's see, hold on a second. Let's see, let's see what I got here. Let's see what I got here. Oh, I think I'm crazy. I go on the road and travel, I'm in Hawaii, and I have a get to bag. You never know what's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, and how it's gonna happen. So it's better to be prepared. So, what kind of stuff do you have? What do you have, Hector? Well, what I have here, and let me connect, let me find the rest of it. Let me find the rest of it. Here's the rest of it. The rest of it should be right in here. I am missing it. Oh, 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 it's here somewhere. There it is. I found it. A radio. I have a radio for comms. Oh, in case I need to, and it's a ham radio. Uh, don't get a, uh, a, a, any of the other ones. You can do GMRS, FRS, frequency C if you had to. Uh, but you need to make sure that you have a way. Let me show you this next thing. Assuming you have not, nothing, hopefully you programmed them. And if you forgot how to program it, make sure you have one of these and you have all the information to program it. Okay? So you want to make sure you're able to program these things. Don't do you any good if you got them and can't, you can't do it. Now, in case I'm someplace that's real rural, real far away, I have the long extension antenna for this so I can get uh, uh, hopefully a better signal if I had to. So that's there. So, so a radio. All right. Boy, all kinds of stuff in here. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, got to start a fire. Got to start a fire. See. Man, I suck at this. Hey, see it? See it? There we go. I can start a fire. If I need to start a fire, we can do it with this. However, however, and I do mean however, comma, you saw that I had matches on there, right? Is, might I also recommend, get a lighter, get a lighter. It's so much easier to start a fire with a lighter. So, there you go. Also, for some reason, let's just say, let's just say GPS doesn't work. Anytime you get anywhere, wherever you're at, buy a map. Buy a map. I know it's a miracle that people actually open these things up and actually can read a map. It's been forgotten art. And if you don't know where you're at in reference to this map, have a compass. Old compass. And you don't know how to use it, learn learn how to use it so you can orient the map so you know what direction you need to be going in case you're lost in the middle of the hills and your vehicle doesn't start you're going to probably want to know how to get how to get home or how to get to some place right so now man now all this stuff doesn't mean that it's just for shit it's a man it could be in an emergency where you get hurt or you're stuck someplace you're able to go back to your vehicle and have some supplies so a lot of people don't even carry this stuff so how about a headlamp Always have a headlamp with you. Let's see. Whoa! Hey, how much stuff? That, how much stuff can one guy have in this kind of bag? Well, it's 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 a it's a little bit of stuff. All right. Extra little knife. Don't need that. Let's take out the big ones. Knife sharpener. And a light that can also signal if I need it. So gotta have a a, a light besides the. Uh, the, the headlamp. Let's see what else they got. Oh, this is one of my favorite ones. A Gerber. Multi-tool. You can never go wrong having one of these. These things are awesome in case you got to work on something for whatever reason you got to do. Whatever you have to do. Let's see. Do I have anything more in here? Hold on a second. I do. I think I do. I think I do. Oh, oh by the way, DEET. Some DEET. Some bug spray. Uh, I've been in some places where you kind of need some bug sprays. Okay, so now the foam. You know, you got you got to be able to. Um, oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I also have some electrical tape. You never know when you're gonna need some electrical tape. So, you got, yeah, I got a lot of MacGyver stuff. Your phone. How are you gonna charge it? Some of you guys have little portable batteries to be able to charge them. The um, okay. The a lot of people say, Hey, Hector. <laughs> 
how are you gonna charge all your stuff? Because I've got a GPS, I've got my phone, and the uh, matter of fact, matter of fact, not my phone, my um, ham radio. And my ham radio needs a one needs a one ten outlet to be able to charge it. So how are you gonna do that, Victor? And uh, and a battery backup. How are you gonna keep a battery backup charged if, it, if it's several days you're out there? Well, first of all, you gotta have the cords to be able to charge it. But I'm the kind of person that wants to be ready for just about anything. So I do have a power bank that I have in here. And I can hook up 110 right to here. So a lot of people say, what are you going to do when it dies? It only lasts so long, right? <laughs> oh, silly people. Silly people. In case I, I, I have this thing about being prepared. Solar power. If you watch some of my other videos, I like solar power. This is solar power. I can hook it up to my ch charger and it'll hook it up that same day. So, and basically I would just, if I'm walking and hiking during the day, I'm gonna tie this to the back of my pack. As you can see, you got these little holes right here. So I can literally tie it to the back of my pack and it'll be charging it as I am hiking along to wherever I need to get to. So, so, whew. That's everything in there, and I've talked quite a bit. It's like about 20 minutes, a ton of stuff. Look, I'm not saying you have to have all this stuff. You don't, okay? I just like being prepared for anything that I can. Now, take, stop and think about how much you can carry, too. You know, it's this right here, it's just, it's just under 20 pounds. So I've got a lot of stuff here that I probably don't, just this charger alone and the solar power panel adds about uh, two and a half pounds. So I don't, I don't need all that. I can knock out a few pounds if I need to just get a smaller battery backup. But you never know what's gonna happen. And I don't know how long it's gonna take me to get home. I know from the city, it's about a 45 mile drive. So how long would that take me to walk home? Uh, if I had to, things went really bad. So that's what you wanna consider. So look at, and, and I would suggest is put your stuff in the pad, start walking with it, start carrying. See how far you can go and start getting tired. And, the, uh, and, if, you, and if there's a certain routes that you go home, because it's not that far, from your job or whatever, you practice doing that, okay? And then look and see what you have. Is there water sources along the way? Is there creeks? Is there, you know what? As simple as somebody's hose in their yard that you can go in there and get water. So, you know, and if you can't, you know, you're in places where you can't even open the water, buy yourself a little water key, okay? I need that. I need to add that to my pack. That's one thing I realize I'm, I still need. So get what feels comfortable to you, okay? That it's gonna get you home. I, I, I assume, uh, two to two, uh, two to three days. Maybe, you know, one to three days uh, is what I hope to be home uh, if something were to happen. And that's all I'm going to plan for with this. Okay. So and and so that way, that means you're going to be out at night. So you want to make sure that you're protected. You want to be able to hide. You want to be able to conceal if you need to. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope this helps you out in deciding what you want to add to your pack. And the uh, you got any questions? Leave a uh, what is that? Message, whatever, comment. Yeah. I'm going to go back to uh, this beautiful uh, Hawaii. Uh, uh, you hear all that ocean in the background? It's pretty cool. Let's go jump in the water. See you later.